Hello everyone, it's Kieran from Glitchery Gaming. You may also know me as Protome everywhere else, as I've said in the last few videos. Um, I'm playing some more Mario Maker, because I'm really enjoying making these videos. We're we'll starting a little bit different here, and I'm trying to complete a level that I made, so that I can upload it. But it's a bit harder than most of my usual levels. So I'm struggling a little bit. Uh, oh god. I also have two checkpoints, so I'll need to finish it. The way checkpoints work, uh, for people who don't know... Oh god, I made this level and I messed up. Um, the way checkpoints work in Mario Maker and Mario Maker 2 is that you have to, when you're uploading, complete the level from the start. Not using checkpoints at all. And then you have to also complete it from each of the checkpoints. Basically to force you to not make a level that requires you to use checkpoints and also not make a level that is impossible to finish once you hit a checkpoint. Oh god. Yeah, so I made this level and it's a bit of a pain in the butt. But... I've been kind of struggling to make levels for a bit recently and kind of had the idea for this one with all these donut blocks and stuff. Okay, this third here, I'll make it. It's not super complicated. Oh god, it's just a pain. Those ones you have to jump on a bunch because they travel far enough that if you just stand on them, they'll fall. So I wanted to make a kind of a slightly meaner level than I usually make. Like, this start bit's super easy. It's basically just there to tell you, by the way, there's donut blocks. By the way, there's gonna be long jumps. And enemies in annoying places. Basically warnings that the level's gonna be a pain. It's not that bad. Oh god. I finished each- how did I do that? I finished each individual bit before, obviously, uh, but I'm just struggling to get it all honed in to get the whole thing done. So here's spoilers for my level. Uh, after this I'm going to go into the waypoint stuff, as always. Oh my god, I'm just messing up this jump. This will be the whole video. Uh, I've actually not been making a lot of stuff in Mario Maker. Uh, Mario Maker 2 this. I made a lot of stuff in the first Mario Maker and thought I was going to make a lot in 2. And then... It just haven't... It just haven't. <laughs> I made a couple of levels quite quick. Ah, it was a dumb death. I made a couple levels quite early on, quite quick, and neither of them were great, but they were, you know, really just to mess about with the new tools and stuff. Uh, not that this level is great, but it's at least slightly better, I think. I think it's a bit more coherent. Oh god. You can land there without that killing you, as you've seen. It's just a pain. This one, you cannot physically make this jump without letting one of the donut blocks drop first. There we go. Same here. You need to let that drop a bit. But if you let it drop too far, you won't be able to do it. You can come down any of those, but I don't actually know if you can make that bottom if you don't take the right one. Uh, this is my favorite mechanic in any of these games. Oh god. Oh god. <sighs> but it's a pain if you do something stupid with it like this. Uh, but yeah, bow bombs can destroy certain types of blocks. So ice blocks, uh, those destructible, basically any destructible blocks. So like the, in this one it would be the ones that spin. I forget the name of them. As you've probably been able to tell if you've watched any of these other videos, I'm really bad at, why oh, did? I'm really bad at naming Mario stuff. 
as much as I love these games and have played them since, you know, I was a child and the Mario Maker 2 menus straight up have the names of everything in them, but I can't commit that to memory. I'll forget important things like my birthday. Or someone more important's birthday. Oh god, he stopped doing that. Even the start bit's stupid. Right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's not get my groove on that bit again. It's just this bit. I did this bit like a hundred times and didn't die on it at all. And then now that I need to actually get through it, it's impossible. At least I put checkpoints this level, it's not as mean as it could be. As you probably noticed though, I did get that checkpoint before. Uh, but also I need to keep going from the start because I died and I need to stop doing that. Um, and the way it works, as I mentioned before, is that you need to be able to finish it from any of the restart points. So the start so you don't put the checkpoint in some stupid place and then go, you need to die to continue. Which you definitely think you could do. You could always put, I don't know how you would do it, but you could definitely put a checkpoint somewhere that you need to restart to be able to continue. But then this prevents you from doing that. I'm sure you could probably find a way to at least make it easier though. Oh, well, that's fine. It's not ideal. There's a mushroom in this next area. I just need to not die to these bombs. Maybe I should put a mushroom here. Ah, I should really put a mushroom there. I expect when I get this uploaded, that is where all of the crosses will be. This will be my last try, and then I'll move on to the waypoint levels. Okay, waypoint level time. So first up, we have Cautious Caverns by James Tarr, who made one of the levels that was in one of the previous episodes as well. That'll probably happen a lot, it's not the biggest community in the world, so there'll be a lot of the same people making levels, which makes sense. Uh, code is YRF, MQR, L4G. I think I'm going to stop reading those out entirely and just put them in the description below because I don't know who it actually helps reading them out. Uh, I already played this one. This is the only one I'm going to play today that I've already played, I think. Um, but I was not sure if I was going to actually record another one of these and then decided that, oh, well, I may as well. But I'd already started playing through some of the levels. Or one of the levels. Uh, it's good. It's not super difficult. It's a good... It's just a good little platformer level. Good use of slopes. Good use of snow. I didn't think about using these as, like, background tiles. Because that isn't... Or is that just the background tile of the snow in this theme. I don't think it is. Oh my god. There we go. I'm pretty sure he's used those, um, the, uh, oh god, this, I forget what they're called, they're like semi, semi interactive blocks. Yeah, because you can see the gap there. Come on. There we go. Oh no, that's a mushroom. I really didn't. Yeah, because this is the background for this, so they had... I should do that. In my level. I should steal this idea. I don't know what it looks like on Super Mario World, though. Let's see... Dun, dun, dun. Easy. Yeah, this one's a good mix of, like, using full-size jumps and half-size jumps. I don't know what the proper term for this is. 
Uh, you can climb up that way to get to the top of the pole. I'm not that patient. But it's a good little level. I like it a lot. It's just fun. It's not super difficult, but it's, it's a good mix of jumps. It's good. Good job, James Tarr. All right. Next up, we have Bob on Block Blast Bonanza by Axel Eds. I don't know how to pronounce that surname. I'm sorry. I should know better. It's probably Irish or Gaelic or something. Um, yeah, so a Bob on kind of puzzle thing. Like I said in the start thing, I really like this as a mechanic, like using Bob Ohms to blow up blocks. So. Hopefully this is smarter than what I used it for, which is just trolling people. And this is already off to a good start. This is a good little tutorial. I would personally try and force people to stay here. So they had to see it. But, I mean, whatever. If people want to skip it, they want to skip it. There we go. That's pretty cool. Good little tutorial -y bit. So you gotta do, when you're doing a mechanic that isn't just straight up, you know, Mario. Oh, I don't think it's going to get it. Nope. Hopefully that's optional. Must be optional. Is this a... No, that's just... These blocks on tracks must be, like, foreshadowing for something because they're everywhere. There's already been, like, two of them. Oh, there's a feather in there. I bet I could have blown that up. Oh jeez, that was being too brave with it. Oh god, now the bobs are coming back. Bring me the bombs. But like a slower rate in this, please. One more. Oh, I messed that up. That was way too late. I don't need this one anymore then. Oh god. That one really launches them out. I did the same thing with the mice on my level. I should have known better. Right. Let's get this. Let's do this. Let's see if I get in this now. Oh my god, I messed up again. And there definitely won't be a next time. Because I got this. I don't need the extra life for anything, so I think I'll just get the feather and run. Oh, I blew it up! I was right, you can blow up. Okay, well, that's fine. I should just take in that one. I hesitated. It's too late now. Right. You go over there. You come here. And go over there. You can go away. Oh, is that good at just about? Right. I'm not gonna bother with the smart ones. I wonder if the idea is to try and put the ball bombs up on the that like an elevator to get the higher up ones. I don't know how you even do that. Timing doesn't seem. Well, I guess they don't. They don't ignite until you do it. Oh god! I messed that up. I'm just gonna run for it. Oh god! Well, these are my friends now. Oh Jesus! Flying explosives. Okay, I'm definitely not going back for that other pipe then. Yeah, I guess. I assume they will eventually destroy these ones. I mean, I hope. It's certainly looking like you might struggle. Skip these. 
Hmm. Oh god, oh god. They're coming for me. Alright, this doesn't want to go down. I don't know if I believe that though. Some of the timing on these. Hard. It also is maybe a little bit too much, uh, just sitting waiting. <laughs> but I could sit and watch Bob Bombs blow up all day. I wonder if there's something I could do to speed up. Come on. Grant me freedom. Let's go up here. This must be optional. Hey. Give me all these extra lives. I don't need them, but why not? Oh, and then lose my bigness. I was so worried that these blocks were going to respawn. I should know better than that, but I was genuinely terrified for a second there. I was going to have to sit and watch them all explode again. I don't know how to get down. Here. Just gotta be patient with it, I guess. Oh god, almost just missed that one entirely. be doing. I assume there must be more to it than this. What else was I going down on this? Oh, there is just water down here. Oh, but there's a wall. So that doesn't help. Oh, God. So that's what these are here for. Is to help you get back out. When you fall in the water. That's smart. That's a nice way of doing that. Unless it kills you like that. <laughs> it's smarter than just having like a, a door or a pipe or something there. It looks nice too. Even if I'm a bit confused as to what it is. It's a little elevator. Or escalator I guess. Oh my god. Bombs, please start coming over here. I might mess this up. I might have just messed up all the timing on these. Just by standing in the wrong place. These just are never going to do a thing though. Oh. Oh god, I'm going to die though. I like the idea of this level. I think it might be a bit slow for me though. But I don't know if that's just because I'm doing something wrong. Oh my god, and I keep dying here. There must be something I'm missing. This is one of the new themes that Mario Maker 2 as well. They added snow, forests, uh, I can't remember what else. Night versions of all the themes. I feel like there's another one. Oh, Sky. They added the Sky one as well. They always had the airships, but this one's different. I like how in 3D world it looks kind of like a toy box kind of thing. Am I doomed? Come on. I don't think this is going to work. I don't think I can trick them. I 
don't think I can do it in here. I think I broke it. Right, I'm going to suicide. I'll give this one more try. And if it breaks again, or I can't get past that bit, well, I may need to call it on this level. As much as I don't like leaving levels unfinished. Come on. Go the right way. Yeah, it's looking promising. Less promising, but still promising. Well, that's good. It's all good. Here. You can go over there. You can get away from me. Oh, whatever, fine. Let's go here. These, these are great. You spin out bob bombs all the time. It's just annoying. Not really that big a threat. I'm getting hit by the ones actually on the side here that I'm trying to get through than the ones behind me, but it's still annoying. Right, I'm gonna give up on this one, I think. After one more try. You gotta give one more try. It's just so slow. It's not a bad level by any means, it's just so slow. It's a lot of just waiting for Bob Bombs to do stuff. And hoping they go in the right way. Like, this is too precise for how ball bombs actually work. And how, more importantly, how the pipe spawning works. So, like, here we have another go around where it just, they might not do anything. Yeah, they're just not gonna ever break through. If I stand over here, make it slower. If I stand on this one, does it stop? No. It just made it worse. Yeah, so like, you can just kind of oh oh here we go. We have a chance. Spoke too soon. Right. Oh, I wish there was a way to turn off those. You can add like an on-off switch with uh, the outline blocks. And you could let people when they get here turn off those ones up there to make it a bit easier. Or not. It's not, it's not that hard. It's just, again, a little waiting. Oh my god, and then I mess up when stupid jumps. I feel like I was almost there. and watch these bob bombs for 20 minutes again. Okay, this is gonna be a slow one again. Yeah. All right, Axel, I'm calling a day on your level. I'll probably finish it later. It's just so slow and I feel like you're asking for more precision in this kind of like bob bomb spawning stuff here than the game actually allows. So you end up with scenarios like this where all I did was run over here and I can't get through. And eventually the bob bombs will bounce their way into position, but it could take a while. So I'm going to call it on this one, unfortunately. I like the concept though. All right. Next we have Mario's mining operation. It's only been played a couple of times. Zero percent clear rate. Oh, it's now Bob Oman as well. So let's see how this goes. Uh, it's by Wazinator. They have the same name on the form as well. Let's see how this goes. Let me finish at least one of these Bob Oman ones. I can finish mine. <laughs> I can finish Axel's. All right. 
This one does have an on-off switch. That's initially promising. And a blue pipe as well. No, very fancy. Oh, I need to come back to here. There must be a fast way to this. I assume you can get up there. I don't know how though. You can jump on those. Oh, it's this long way. No, I wonder if it's possible to do it a long way. Will they eventually? Nah, it's easy. Uh, yeah, I wonder how you're meant to go up there. Because it looks like you're meant to go up there and let the bob -ombs walk across. Oh, I broke this. My punishment for always holding down the run button. There must be a thing up somewhere. Oh my god. Maybe I can use it to cheat though. Why isn't there? I'm just gonna cheat your level. Hope you don't mind. Oh, I can't get through here. I was gonna take it back and let the bob on bounce off it. Whoops. Not all your fault, why isn't there? Well, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name terribly wrong. Ways in there? Bobums. You need to keep them on screen because they can despawn if they go far enough way off screen. Like if I did. No, that's fine. I wonder how you're meant to get up there though. I don't think you can bounce on dry bones. bones. I certainly can because I'm not very good at this game. That was a stupid throw. No one to blame but yourself for that one, Kieran. Let's go. Right. Not holding the run button. In Mario Maker 1, there was people that made troll levels, specifically punishing you for holding down the run button. Oh, I see. I don't think I'm going to make it, though. I did. Oh, so you need the bubbles to walk over for the next one. I wasn't far off by trying to get that spring through there. I need to guide it though, it's gotta be slow. <laughs> this is the one downside of these kind of puzzle levels is that they're always gonna be pretty slow. I could probably pick them up from that gap. Before the ramp. But I need to wait for explode before running back. Oh, do I need... Oh no. I need to go the long way around every time. I should hopefully only need another couple though. I like that the camera stops here. That was very nearly the end of this. Like there's very clearly stuff on the other side of this. But because there's blocks there the camera knows to stop, which I didn't realise. Like I knew it did that, but I didn't know it did it to that extreme. Like I didn't know these counted as, you know, ground. That was a bad idea. Come on my little friend. I can bring two of them. This might be all I need to do. Come on, friends. Follow me. Everything will be okay. You will not get blown up trying to get through a door. Oh, and then the camera works. That's really good. I like that. Very smart. Uh, and there's a very loud board outside. Which I think even my microphone is picking up. Oh god. Well, that was a waste. I was too distracted by the board. Can I blow up peace wedges? No, thank god. Um, this is not what I'm meant to be doing. I'm just going to use this as a barrier. <laughs> you can come through. No more in. One in, one out. Oh, I messed that up entirely. Alright, one in. But your friends have to... Oh. Well, you can all come, I guess. Uh, okay, clearly not what I meant to do this. 
Oh, do I need to... This is going to be a tough one time. I think I need to throw it and switch it as it's going. That seems too precise. I don't think that's what I may do. Hey, it worked though. Give me that P-switch. I might need that. I bet I was meant to use it for something there. Like just collecting those coins like a normal person, not doing this. I can't get through there though. Uh, what am I meant to do? Is there a key down there? Can I collect keys this way? Oh god. One in. What's this do? Oh, that's smart. Okay, so then do this. I should probably keep that P switch. I don't think I need it. Right. So it sends it across here. There's a fire thingy, which misses it entirely. Oh, purple bomb. Your drive ones, eh? I can't see down there anymore as well. That's the one downside of the camera in this game. Once I move over here to the right, I can't see the bob bomb anymore. Hmm, let's just flood this place of bob bombs first. It's weird. You saw me stand above it, they like go. I guess this one specifically wants me to do this. Maybe just because it's too low down. I think technically I'm high, I'm high enough that I'm technically on a different like level than it basically. Oh god, it crushed that one. I don't think that's what's meant to happen. Oh no, and that one got ignited going this way, so it's going to go off too soon. We may need to actually time this fire. Oh my god. How would I even do that? So stuck like that. Let's get the bubble now. Drop it. Switch back to this being stuck in there. Oh, that might actually be better. Nope, because it's going to block it. Ah, uh, right. I can see why it's level zero percent completion. It's a pain. Oh, and it has a time limit. I mean, all levels have time limit, I guess. Come on, my little bob on friend. <laughs> oh my god, no, this is doing things. I thought you were dead. So trying just to flood ball bombs into it didn't work. They all just bounce off each other and then they blow each other up. Oh, this one looks promising though. No, no. <sighs> Got my hopes up. Twice, <laughs> I'm not going to make it. Uh, at least I can get through that start bit a bit quicker again now. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how you may do this puzzle though. You have so little control over this fire. Destroy me, great destroyer. Smite me. <sighs> that was a really stupid death. Gotta get at least one in every level. That's the rules. 
I don't have rules. I don't follow them, I just make them. I had a big list of levels I wanted to get through in this video. I feel like I'm not going to get through them. But I am enjoying these bob on puzzle levels, even if I can't finish any of them. If we run out of time again, I will skip this one and do it in my own time. Because I've at least shown it off. Which is the important thing. Playing these levels is not necessary, or these videos is not necessary to finish things. It's to show things off and shine a light on the Waypoint community. But then also the fact that this level has like a 0% completion just now, I kind of want to finish it just for that. Just to be like, hey, by the way, I didn't want to do that. This guy can stay here. You get lost. I need two of your friends though. You'll do. Where's your body? I kind of need three actually. There we go. Let's go. Don't despawn. Uh, the end one. I didn't this one. Good. I was so worried about it. I thought I got overzealous there. Like that. Overzealous. It's a good thing that I'm small. Right. There's a P switch here. I don't know what you're meant to do. Oh wait, I can just use the... I'm overthinking this. Like everything in my life. You come over here, you come over here. Let's stick to my plan of sending one ball bomb at a time. You go here. Oh no, messed up, but... Yeah, being overzealous and over complicating things. Oh god, I messed up. Over complicating things and still doing it wrong. I need them to go over there. Ah, oh, no. I wish I could get two of these switches. Thanks a lot. I thought we were friends. Right. I need one bob bomb. I need a P switch. I need to do this. Nailed it. But then didn't do the second bit, which was to hit the button again. But hey, I destroyed the coin, so it's fine. I don't even need the switch anymore. I can use it as a barrier like before. That's all I need. Go. I appreciate that you don't have to wait for the animation for the key coming over. Who would have guessed Nintendo good at some stuff? Like Mario design. I'm just gonna dump tons of bob bombs in here and hope for the best. Oh, this one's promising. No. Nope. I don't know how you're meant to do this. I don't know where I want the fire. I think I need to stick it at a certain place. Like get it stuck in that bottom bit maybe. The bottom rail. But then it just gets in the way of the bob bombs more often than not. Which is not what I want. Well, if it does keep that one up there, that could be handy. Maybe. No, because it's never hitting the fire now. The thing will never be right. Oh, 
Oh god. That made it worse. I don't... I don't know how to do this. It seems too random. I feel like I must be missing something. Oh, please. Great. Could I just bring a P-switch through? Please don't respawn those blocks. Because I don't need blob others. Oh, thank God. Right. You do this. Come through here. Get that stuck there. So it can't set the thing on fire. Oh no, I messed up already. It would help if I could see what I'm doing. Okay, so this ball bomb should come up. I should only need the one as well. You get lost, dry bones. You made me miss that. Spawn. Nope. Come on, come on. Balls. This time. This time. I'll die. Looks like I'm standing on the dry bones. Try ahead as it came back up. Right, one last try. I mean, one last real try. No, one last dying to the ball bomb at the start. It would be really funny if I die that second time as well. But no. One last try, and then we'll move on to another level. Because I think I've got this one. But it's time consuming. And I only have a limited amount of time to record in. Because I need to go to work in the morning. Blow up. I wonder if it's ever possible for the spring to be here at the start. And not on its way up. I think it's probably starting positions at the bottom going up, so it's by default when you come on the screen it spawns in going up. Three bob ohms, please. I need three of you. Let's go, buddies. I might be being overcautious with this back on. It might take longer than I think it does for them to despawn. But I'm not going to risk it. I only actually need two of these. Now I remember. I don't actually need this one. Doesn't do anything. So, this can come here. I can get this mushroom. I can get this guy. You can come over here. And we're going to try this properly. Which I messed up instantly. Hey, that also works. As always, I'm overcomplicating things. Hey buddy, you're going for a trip. Step two of my plan, prayer. Because I don't think I can do anything else on this. Hmm. Okay, that fire never reaches low enough. So it does need to be on the other track. just as bad and it's never gonna hit the actual ball bomb I wanted to hit it's just gonna crush them every now and again
It really is just luck. Unless I'm messing something. You could do it, buddy. No, you can't. Come on. Nope. This is a real pain in the butt. Is this one where we crush it? Nope, just block it. We'll block it the second time around. Let's find out. Not if I do that. Oh, hey, that looks promising. That was too soon. I don't know where it needs to light it from. I guess the bed it comes down on. It's too late, I think. Yeah. Uh, my only suggestion to replace this would be that you can put the horizontal or vertical uh, flame propellers rather than the spinny ones on a trail as well. And that would give the user a bit more control Oh, this, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So let's get rid of this fire now. Because as is, I'm just doing a bunch of them at a time and hoping. There's not really any control over it. I do appreciate this, this dry bones occasionally just despawns. Um, but yeah, you can probably improve that by just using the, the regular like jets fire thing. I don't know what they're called. You know the ones I mean. If you don't, it's, it's the other one that makes fire. Uh, hmm, so Bob ones are coming through in there, take it. Hello friends. Where am I taking them to? Well, one of them to. Oh no. This is what I think it is. Do I need to lift them up? Oh, this is a pain. <laughs> I like this. I don't know how I'm going to do this, especially not in the time limit. I could probably just grab them and carry them up, right? Let's try that. Oh no, I'm gonna die for that. No. Because it looks like you need multiple of them. So there must be some other trick to this. Because otherwise that seems mental. Can't see if that's right. I think it's right. I can't go up there though. Oh, I got one of them. But yeah, it definitely looks like I need a bunch of them. How is this level finishable in the time limit? Because if you send a bunch of them up at the same time, even if you, through some miracle, manage to navigate them up, they'll blow each other up. No, oh, whoops. I never only need one. Can I hear it explode from here? Yeah. So I guess they've measured out enough they know the bob bombs don't despawn. At least when you're there, I think they would if I came all the way over here. Maybe bob bombs just don't despawn. I'm pretty sure they do though. I'm pretty sure everything does. It's life. 
Right. Bounce this one back. It's a cool puzzle. I, I'm not. I'm not criticizing the puzzle. I think it's. Uh, it's it's cool. I just don't think it's doable in the time limit. I don't know how the. I don't know how Waz did it themselves. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and do this again at a later date. But Jesus, that takes so long. It's a cool level though. But I can understand why it doesn't have any finishes. Well, next time. So next up we have a level called Forsaken City by Nick Thick or Mephosto on the form. Uh, it is Celeste themed. So let's see how this goes. New Super Mario Bros. U though. Hmm. Unsure about your choice of theme. You think Mario Bros. U is the most popular and the weakest of the themes. I don't know if it's the most popular in this. Uh, okay. God, this does remind me of Celeste. I guess it makes sense to use it for this though because wall jumps. It's gonna have wall jumps. During uh, Summer Games Done Quick just there, they played a really good ROM hack of Super Mario World that added the Celeste dash to it, and that was nuts. Oh god. And the speedrunners were playing it blind as well. Like, not literally physically blind, like they hadn't played the level before. So that was cool. I will never be that good at any game, I don't think. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't even wall jump this game. I finished actual Celeste. I think it was great. Oh, missed that one. Yeah, if you've not played Celeste, highly recommend it. I definitely play a Celeste Maker. <laughs> using conveyor belts has fake dashes. That's smart. I don't know how accurate to the first level of Celeste that is, but it definitely evokes a feeling. Very wall jumpy, very good. Good job. I like that one. And hey, I finally finished one. Let's leave a comment. I noticed that the world record and the comment are both other Waypoint Forum people, which is good. Everyone's playing each other's levels. I saw someone posted a rumor that they didn't they didn't post any like you know facts behind their you know that kind of stuff. But they said that your levels don't show up in the endless run, which is the kind of random mode that pulls users' levels, until someone has played it. Which is weird if true, but also a very Nintendo thing, I would guess. All right, next up we have Frosted Forest Fortress, which is another one by Axel. They specifically mentioned the forums, this one shouldn't take as long as the last one. Uh, someone posted saying that that one that I struggled to beat there because it was a bit random. Uh, it took them half an hour to finish. Uh, I, I just hate how New Super Mario Bros. looks. It's so ugly. It's just like the clashing art styles. Like those icicles look like they're from a different game than the question mark blocks do. And Mario looks like a different game from that. I will admit this, these game series do look better. Oh god, I need to be up there. Uh, they do look better in Mario Maker than they do in their actual games. They do some like graphical enhance. Oh, I messed that up. I need to be more patient. That's fine. I don't need it. I'm gonna finish it. I'm that good. Oh god. Oh, never mind. I've got mushroom anyway. Yeah, this is a much simpler level. It's good though. Oh Jesus. I feel like I say it's good quite a lot. 
Well, I mean it. I like these levels. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not just saying the wall. Give me a mushroom. Give me my mushroom. Right. Let's mess this up. Right. And another. Oh no, it's a trick. Oh jeez, I'm on to you. I don't need that mushroom anyway. Okay, maybe it is. Got the coins. Dry bones. Oh, it's multi power. Checkpoint and everything. Getting up here? No. <laughs> Just a secret little area. Right. Oh no. I messed up. That's fine. Who needs mushrooms anyway? Uh, me. Is the answer to that. Maybe a bit too liberal with the mushrooms, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. one. That was a dumb thing to do. Again, patience, not my strong suit. Let's go down here, jump here. Good use of slopes, good use of ice. I like it. I think up here, I need to run. Yeah. Oh, got that. Right. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Ah, that was annoying placement for that. Okay, so I guess I need to go on the pipe. Let's see what horrible things he's put on the other side. Oh, boss fight. Neat. I guess it has a coin. Oh my god. Oh god. This specific boss fight is one I've seen in the most levels. I don't know why. I mean, it's pretty good. Maybe that's why. It's just actually kind of fun to fight against. Come on, buddy. Bring it on. Nope. 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 Come on. Oh, come on. I'm going to say he's fun to fight against. Who gave you wings? Who gave you wings? Go on. Right. Yeah, and left. It's the end. It's the end. Good level. I like that one. Uh, more finishable than your previous level for sure. So, good job. Alright, next level is Beat the Beetle by Calamari. You may remember from the previous episode if you watched it. And... They're called Questionable on the Forum. Which is good. And, yeah, so we'll play this one. Clear rate is 1.99%, which is low... I think this is one of those ones where you have to keep an enemy alive to get to the end. I also just noticed my audio has been peaking this whole time, so I'm sorry this video sounds terrible. Should be fixed now. I'll only re record those other ones if I need to. In which case, this whole video, or this whole section of me telling you the audio was bad, is pointless because I'll have re recorded those previous ones. And you'll never know. So I'm gonna race this beetle, but I think I want to keep it on screen so it doesn't despawn, right? I mean, honestly, I should probably just focus on staying alive because I'm not doing a good job of that. But I think if I go fast enough, I'm gonna lose it. But I assume the level's designed, oh my god, to prevent you doing that anyway. That next jump after the place I died looks like a pain. 
I thought I could make that. Because I've been playing New Super Mario Bros. for the last couple of levels, I tried to do a spin jump, which gives you a little bit more airtime. Oh god. I didn't even notice that one. Right. This time. At least I get to listen to this music a bunch. I would like to hear more than just the star of it. Right. Oh my god. This is just evil. This one little jump. I'll be genuinely surprised. I'm going to jinx it for myself here, but I'll be genuinely surprised if there's anything harder than that jump after it. I guess it could just be spike blocks with one gap. More of these turtles. Oh my god. I thought I had it. I got part of the way there. And I just missed the hook entirely. I think they'd be able to despawn anyway. Because I can see it. So I do this. And do it. Oh. I think if I move too fast, I'm going to break it. Which I'm panicking about, and it's making me mess up. So I'm going to just go for it and see what happens. And stop doing this. I thought it did. Oh my god. This level. At least I finished a couple. I can't be defeated by as many. Also, are these red blocks like on off blocks? Because that's terrifying if so. Oh, they are, that's why you have to brace it. It's gonna hit an on-off button at the end. In which case I don't... Oh, it probably unlocks the end though. Let's just see, maybe I don't care about despawning, it's actually better if it does. Oh my god, I'm never gonna make this jump! Notice how there's no crosses in the lava on the other side of this jump. Everyone's just dying on this jump. That was sheer luck right there. Right. I can't do it. I just can't do it. <sighs> so what I suspect will happen this level is I'm going to get to the end. This beetle is going to hit an on-off block that's going to turn all these red blocks off. So if it gets there before you do, it's going to turn things off. But I assume you also need it. Like I assume there's going to be a row of um, red blocks also blocking the exit. And so you need it to turn off. Or, like, missing blue blocks that you need to cross to get to the exit. Oh, so close! I just need to swing back and forth one more time. Yeah, because otherwise you could just stand here and let it despawn. And then it's not really a race at that point, it's just an annoying platform level. Annoying in a good way. Annoying in it's difficult. Jesus. That jump. I think that jump's too harsh. Right, one more. I didn't get too high. And that was a small jump. How do you do this? There's probably some trick, right? But I think this may also be one of the things where when you're making a level, you get really good at really silly things. So like this specific jump, I bet questionable could do a hundred percent of the time. Just because they'll have done it a billion times while making the level. Like this probably wasn't even a bet they died at a bunch when going to upload it. The bets that I was dying at at the start of this video in my level were not bets that I died at during you know making the level. 
The best that I died at when making the level I got really good at. And then during those final bets they were just super easy. But I bet when someone else plays them, they're going to be like, Oh wow, Kieran, why did you make it was so evil? How, how did you how did you do that? Why did you put this bob on here? Why did you... Yeah, it's a pain. And that's where you got to get people to play tester levels. Oh my god. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this one. I'm not too bad at it. And I also keep dying of stupid jumps. As always. Let's do this, do this, let's do this, let's do this. Oh, god damn it. I thought I was out of the range of that. Must be like a couple pixels in. Die, die, die. Oh my god, I need to be careful now. I don't care that I'm losing. Ah! He's right there! It was right there. I'm gonna. I need to die. I did it! Almost! I died on a really stupid jump! And also because the beetle outran me, so I was gonna fall to lava anyway. So I need to beat it. I'm never gonna get this jump again. Yeah, that was a once in a lifetime thing. And I botched it. Uh, but I don't know if you saw, there was a row of red at the end, like I predicted. Uh, but I hooked before it so you can hang there, which is interesting, because I was wondering how they would do that. So you gotta hang on the last hook until it hits the the button and then you can jump over to the flagpole, or in this case it'll be the, the axe because it's a castle. Is it an axe or is it a switch or is it what? Yes! Screw you! Yeah! Oh! Overconfident. I've just been patient. I would have won it that time. Right, this time. I got it. I'm just letting fate take me on this this hook. I'm just gonna jump first time every time and just hope for the best because I think both the times I've went through it was just on my first jump. And so I'm just gonna have to hope for it. It's, I'm sure someone better than me could be precise at these hooks and do it. I can't. I'm not I'm not good enough at it. I just need to take the RNG way and hope for the best. Right. Come on. Ah. Ah. This is the one. I can do it this time. I got there. I was at the end twice. It's just this jump. <laughs> it's just this one stupid hook jump. It's the only hard bit of this whole level. Trick is not to jump over the hook, as it turns out. My pro tip, don't miss the hook that you need. I keep doing that. That is so risky. Oh god. I don't even need to get there that fast is the thing. It's just, I've got this bit down to start bit. Other than like a few silly deaths here and there, like I've got this. Like silly deaths like that. Because I missed that first jump. The fire should have been further back, but because, yeah. But, yeah, it's, I've got this bit down as I die again. But it's a stupid hook. <laughs> gotta do it. If 
I can get it again, I'm just dying a stupid ways trying to get to it. I got lucky there, that shell went through me. That shell should have killed me. Don't know why I didn't. But hey, I'm not going to play. Right, let's get going. Ah, the stupid fire spinner. Not as bad as a hook. This time. I mean, at least it reached the hook. Nope. I'm gonna mess up on the fire again. <sighs> Someone on the Waypoint forum suggested making a video of all my deaths in this. I might do that, but I also don't think I say interesting enough things when I die. <laughs> I don't really get angry at stuff. I don't do the whole YouTuber fake overreactions to every little thing. So I don't think it'd be the most interesting. Maybe me talking about things like this. Uh, Although the person he referenced when saying that was K plays. Oh, I should have just done that. No, no, no. Yes. Oh my god. We did it. Well, I did it. You guys just watched. Supervised, really. Thank you, questionable. That was a pain in the butt. But I did it. Only a second off a high score as well. So you comment on it. Seen a lot of familiar faces in the comments, which is good. Beat it. Yeah, that was a pain in the butt just because of that one jump. Honestly, my only suggestion to improve that. Like, should you... I don't think you should really re-upload it. It's fine as it is. Remove one spike from that jump. That's it. Make it a little bit more forgiving. It'd still be hard. But a little bit more forgiving. Uh, but I look forward to seeing more people do this kind of level. This is this is cool. And now that we have on-off switches, we can do this. Which is cool. Right, I'm going to do one more level... And then that'll be the end of this video. Alright. Next up, and finally, we have Locks with a View by uh, this person. <laughs> Celadon on the forums. Can't read your name on here because I'm bad at languages. Uh, yeah, this is supposed to be a bit more puzzly as well. So it's a good one to kind of finish off on. Mario 3D World, which is probably my favourite of these themes. I was just looking at the forum thread when I got this code. At the time of like recording this, which is probably at least a day or two before the videos actually went up, there are another 16 levels that I haven't uh, looked at. That was like locked as well. Um, there's like 16 levels in the forum thread that I haven't looked at in these videos. Despite the fact I'm trying to go through them as they come up. But I just can't get through them in time. So I'm way behind. On the bright side, I'm not going to run out of content. So I'll probably get bored of making these videos before I run out of things to put in them. Which is good. I should have been paying attention as I went up in those pipes, eh? That's fine. Oh god. I much prefer how 3D World looks in this. I know I keep harping on about it. Oh, messed up. I just think it looks so much nicer than New Super Mario Bros. Much cleaner. Much more coherent. Everything looks like it's from the same game. Right, let's go up these pipes. It's maybe a bit slow to do the start bit, but I do like this level. It's a pretty cool idea. This was the sky theme I was talking about earlier for the 3D world stages. Right. So there must be red coins. There's a key here. Oh, there's actually a pipe over there. Oh, 
Oh, there's a P switch. That's especially confusing. You can just stand on thwomps in this theme. It's the only thing. Oh my god. It's the only thing I dislike about this thing. You should have to spin on them. You don't have to stand on a thwomp. That's crazy. I don't think they do that. Into a pit. <laughs> He's really good the first time, and then every time you die, it's like, oh my god. I can already tell that once I have reached that point that I reach with every level that I've played a few times and die in stupid ways, that initial. Oh my god. That initial donut block that I haven't missed yet. Why can't I wall jump? <laughs> Uh, that initial donut block there that I've hit every time, I'm definitely going to start missing it every time, I can already tell. Definitely yeah. jump over to it. No, of course not. That would be silly. Worth a try though. Because you never know. I do like these see-through pipes, they work really well. I haven't found a massive amount of use for them. Which is something I feel like even Nintendo didn't find a massive amount of use for in 3D World itself. Uh, the one thing this points me is that I don't think you can do multiple exits to them, which is the whole point of them in 3D World. Was you could have like a little T-junction, oh my god! Where you could go like up or down instead of left and right, or left and right instead of up and down. It's something that would be nice because as is they're they're kind of just i don't know pipes they're good for when you make big levels like this because imagine trying to wall jump all the way up this but then there's like doors and stuff you could just put door it wouldn't look as nice you wouldn't see the whole thing on the way up Right, don't miss the wall jumps. Why can't I wall jump tonight? Right, north one or the same one, really. Land on him. Land on this guy. And miss the P board. Can I get between those? This is terrifying. No, I don't think you can get between us. I think it's just a death. I don't understand this level at all. I don't know if it's a puzzle solving level, but... Oh, hey, there is a thing up here. Oh, smart. Is this just going to lead me around, though? <laughs> That's just mean. I like that. So you want a sneak preview of where the end of the level is. I know I definitely need that red coin. I don't know where else I can go. There must be other places though. This seems more like an explorey kind of puzzle solving thing. There's a block over there. But that probably just leads to the one that's under the swamp. Which means I just don't want to go in the tube that leads there because it's just a tram. I'm definitely going to mess up and do it. Like this. I'm messing up all basic things. Right. I got the P switch. I don't want to use it as. The P switch just turn off these. I can't get back up there though. I wonder if they turn off those spike blocks at the top, because I think that's... I know something turns them off, so I think it's the P-Switch. I just died. Why did I do that? 
Yeah, I don't know what to do. I'm very good at puzzles this time, though. I take it I can't go in this block. It looks locked. Yeah, you need a key to get in that block. Which is a waste of a key, and it's going to kill you. What if this whole section is just... lies? There's something much easier I'm meant to be doing. Something I'm missing. Oh, this intro is killing me. I guess that's kind of the point. This level's a bit trolly. Told you I'd start messing up. I told you. I know myself like the back of my hand. So there's a block there. Can I get down here? I can just jump down here. Let's aim for that block instead. Although I feel like I need both the key and the coin. This is in that last bit. Right. But there's a question mark block next one down. Or a warp block, sorry. Oh, hey. That's neat. Oh, God. Is this going to kill me? Okay, it's not. There's two keys in there. This is very something they like this. <laughs> this like layout. I messed that up. Oh hey. I don't I don't know what I want to do here. the coin as well. No. Ah. Ah. So totally. Damn it. Alright. That warp block seems like the way to go. But I do still need that red coin from the other one. I'm gonna take one more stab at the the, the one to the right. If that doesn't work, we're gonna take another stab at the warp block. And then I'm gonna call it and I'm gonna come back to this level. But I am enjoying it. It's much more elaborate than most of the puzzle levels I've played. I feel like I'm definitely figuring things out as I go. Admittedly, all those things are just how do I get coins, and I don't really know what to use coins on. And there's a bunch of doors at the start of the level, but I don't know how to get back there from enemies. So, let's grab this, because that's obviously a thing we need. Let's just try and fall. See, we can't get past that. I have a key though, I can go in that door. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, a key and go in that door. I was just collecting keys for the sake of collecting them, I wasn't using them. So that'll probably bring me back to start and then I can go into the warp block and get the other two red coins. And that'll give me another key. Plus, hopefully I'll get the other two keys there without getting trapped in traps. Right, let's go in here. Get this key. My exit key, buddy. Alright, get killed by the swamp. Jump on his body. Get the P switch. Fall onto it. Oh, this is not what I intended, but I'll take it. I don't think I want the P switch for this. I think we're gonna die. Yeah, oh god. No, no. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. This is not good. That's not what I want at all. I don't think I'm meant to land on that that way. This is these are just ways for him to separate or her. Stop doing that. Uh it's way for them to 
separate areas rather than just using blocks. I don't think it is specifically meant to be... If you get in fast enough, you can jump on them. I think that's just a unforeseen consequence of it. Ah. Uh, okay, well, we're going the warp pipe way first, then. Or the warp block. Seen that Mario does a little pose when you land on this one. Okay, so this goes here, this goes here. I'll try to actually jump. Okay, this key. If I remember right, this key here is the one that has a block under it. Cool. We came out with one more key than we left with. Let's just waste it, wasted. why not? Ah, okay, so that takes me to the end of that next puzzle. Which makes sense. So I can do this. And then I know the last red coin for this. Oh my god, is there a way to get back up once you get to these door blocks? Okay, so it's this. I keep panicking every time I fall down. So I have an extra key now. I can get another key from the red coins up the top. Oh, and I died. That was a stupid way to die. I think I've got most of the doors now, so I think I need to get that door that's halfway up. And that might be the one that takes to the end. Take one more stab at the one to the right. I think I've got your level then. Unless I'm way off. I feel like I'm missing a door, but that one in the middle is the only one I've not tried yet. I'm still panicking at this drop, I know there's nothing here. Every time I'm like, I'll skim across the wall in case I land on something. Oh my god, wall jump. Well, jumping in these games is really easy. But I'm really bad at it sometimes. When I'm tired, man. Do I need this P switch? I don't think I do. Unless that door is this door. It's not, though, well, it's this one. Huh. Because if it was this middle door, that makes sense. Oh, if I'd rush, would I have been able to just come up to that? I think that's how you're meant to get to that one. You're not meant to just jump off like this. You're meant to use the P-Sweat, come in, go up the pipe, and then go through the blocks with other coins. And then this is a backup. Which makes sense. I always miscount that. Alright. Second coin. Doing this. Bombs are going to hit me on the way down here. So jump. Back. Get a coin. Get the other coin. Oh, don't do this. This is bad for everyone. Right. Actual last try. Because this is going to be the longest one of these videos yet. So everyone starts making hard levels. Including me, weirdly. It's a weird coincidence. But it is already the middle of the night. And I have no idea if this is even entertaining. Uh, right. Here we go. Here we go. I know that I would enjoy watching someone try to figure out my level and bang their head against it. That's the service I hope to provide for other people. It's the service that I enjoy myself. Uh, as I said in the first video and then forgot to in the second one, if you have a level you want me to look at, post it in the comments, send me a message or something. I can probably do that on YouTube, right? I will probably take a look at them. I don't promise them anything. But, hey, I have spare time. 
Can I grab ones? I don't think they'll bend him. Okay. If I'd went straight up, I probably could have got that door, but I don't have a key for it anyway. So it's fine. Right. Do this. I wonder what's up there though. I've not actually been. I think I fell through it at one point. What? How? Okay, that doesn't count. That doesn't count as a one. That's not. You're not meant to be able to die from hitting his head. That's literally the point of it. Like, I think he can kill you when it's moving, but it wasn't moving. I must have specifically hit, like, the pixels of his mouth. Alright. This time. I'll mess that up. That's fine, because we can just go down here, because we have to go down here anyway. It doesn't really make a difference which order I do this in. Try to get both these keys and not fall. That would be the ideal scenario. I don't think there's anything below here that I need because I can use the keys to skip to the end of the other puzzles. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, that's fine. This is okay. Not ideal. I would have rather done this. I would think, after I made an entire level using donut blocks, I would know how donut blocks work. But no. Okay. the puzzle. I don't know if the intended point of this level is to just finish one of the puzzles and then steal the keys. I keep doing that! I don't know if the intended purpose is to finish one puzzle and then steal the keys from the end of all the other puzzles, because that's just all I'm doing. <laughs> and it feels relatively simple to do. But I think the intended thing is that you go through... Even I don't know, actually. You go through this way, and then you get a key, and you use it just to get out of this puzzle. I'm overcomplicating this for myself. That's all this. If I'm pretty sure that the end of the level is that key door in the middle, I just need to do the first of the puzzle things, come back with that key, and open that door. At the very least I could do it and see what's in it. I mean, I can even clear the key, uh, the coins or something. I can actually do this properly this time. But if this door is what I think is the end of the level, unless it's a troll, which it might be. And it could be there is an actual puzzle I need to do to get to the end of the level. There's definitely at least one more key that I need. But I think that's just to encourage you to use that warp block that you can already see where that goes. Which is nowhere good. Where is it though? Because that one, if I take it from the other side, it goes to a warp, a uh, transparent pipe. Alright, let's try the door first. It's tempting to try this block though. Let's try the block. I like it. We're gonna try the block. Where does this go? Nowhere good, I'm sure. It'd be nice if it just took me to the end of the level. But it's probably just dumped me off the edge of the map. Oh. Oh, you monster. I was overcomplicating that for myself. I did it though. I like that though. I enjoyed solving all those individual little puzzles. That was a good level. Uh, 
cool idea. That was... I've already forgot who posted that. Uh, Celadon. Good job. I enjoyed that a lot, actually. And that is going to do it for this video. Like, subscribe, blah, 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 all that nonsense. Leave any codes for levels you want me to look at below. Or better yet, in the Waypoint Forum thread that will be linked in the description. Because that's where I'm looking for levels primarily. Uh, and also I think everyone watching this video is from, or most people at least, are from that thread anyway. So you're already there. Makes more sense. Uh... Yeah, if people enjoy this, let me know and I'll keep doing them. If not, I'll probably get bored of them after a week or two and then stop. <laughs> but hey, let's see if I can at least catch up with the forum thread. Eh? See ya.